Hey guys, Richard here. So in this review, I want to talk to you about SendSpark. Now SendSpark is a communication software that I use pretty much every day these days. And I wanted to share it with you because I like to share with you the types of tools that I'm using within my own business that I think will benefit you. So anytime you want to go ahead and check this out, you can go check this out for free. Go ahead and hit that link in the description below. And you come over to here and you can sign up completely for free and start using it yourself. Now I'm going to show you what this is all about. We'll go into the actual um application itself i'll actually make a video for you and then i'll show you the various ways that you can share this which is very very powerful for you and your business so i'm seeing that you can use this in a number of ways if you've got existing clients you can use this as a communication tool and you can actually talk to them via email in a much more personal way by sending videos to them directly the second thing you can do is use this as a help desk type tool where somebody sends you some kind of question about their product or service that you have and you can actually help them by sharing your screen and having a much more um, easier way of helping people rather than use email. Then the third way is if you've got leads, rather than send them cold emails, you can actually send them personalized emails that explains to them who you are. Now, Every part of communication that I've done with this so far, people love the fact that I reply to email using this software and they find it much more engaging. So let's jump straight inside and I'm going to show you how this is actually used. Now, inside you have various sections. You have the My Videos, which are all of your videos here. I go ahead and delete a lot of these because there are replies to emails. Um, you have a Team Video section here where you can invite your team members and they can come and collaborate in this particular section. You have a number of templates here now if you want to do something like make video tutorials sales outreach sales checking you can use these templates and watch what they do and it kind of gives you prompts you and shows you how to structure your own replies so i thought it was really cool the other one is very powerful is video requests now you can use these for testimonials or if somebody's got an issue you can go ahead and just request a video so if i show you this link if i send this link out to somebody who has actually asked me a question you can get them to put their name and their email in here and then start recording and they can record their own screen themselves and then send it directly back to you. So that's a really powerful way that you can use this tool. And then there's an admin area for the actual business account on here. So what I want to do here is actually create a video for you. Now there's a number of ways you can do this. You can either use this new video here where you can set it up from within the software or you have a Google Chrome extension here which I think is really cool so if I go ahead and hit that and you'll see I suddenly appear on here I've got this set to actually record both my screen and my webcam on here which is why I didn't have my webcam on my other software so it doesn't kind of disagree with it so you can have your face here if you just want to go ahead and do your face and do a direct actual um, reply to somebody you can just do your screen or you can do both which is what I kind of tend to do to make it more personalized um, once I hit record here, this will actually start recording. So I'm actually just going to turn the microphone off here. That's already off. And it'll actually go ahead and um, either do the current tab. It'll do my application window or it'll go ahead and do my entire screen. So let's just go ahead and put record on here. There's a warning that comes up here. Basically, I can stop the recording by hitting the extension um, little icon. But I'm just going to go ahead and record. And you will see here, this gives you a brief countdown. And now you're recording. So anything I do now... Will be recorded directly on the screen so i can go ahead and i can click around this screen i can change my tabs up here and it'll go ahead and record all of this now once i've finished all i need to do is go up here and actually press this tab and it'll actually save my video and we can go make some more adjustments to the overall page that gets shared so this gets shared on kind of a one pager and you have a logo up here you have some text that will appear down, up down here once i go ahead and put that in and you have your video here which you just click on here to watch and you can see straight away that video will play you have some timings underneath here and you have this video message by SendSpark underneath which you can remove if you go ahead and pay the pro version. So I can set the branding style up here. I can have a logo. I can set my logo in here. I can change all of this text. This will change the actual page text color, the page text um, itself. And then I can have a call to action underneath which is on this button here. Now again, the pro call to action is a pro version, which I'm going to show you the pricing, but this is well worth it to me because this is what I actually use most often when I'm trying to direct people to certain pages or certain videos on YouTube that I create. So I really like this call to action idea. Um, so once you set your branding, 
you can actually start entering the various types of text. So this text will appear underneath my logo. So I'm just going to put uh, send spark review. Sorry for any spelling mistakes. And that will actually come up underneath here. And then I can come down and change the color of this in that actual up here if I wanted to edit it again. But I can come down here and put a message. So I can do it. Hi, this my great. <laughs> review and then you'll see that the actual message will start appearing let me just divide that uh, it will start appearing underneath here and you can put any kind of text in there now if I want this call of action I need to turn the call of action on and I would just put some text in for the call of action click here for the link you can put anything in there and then you add a URL so I just go and grab a URL quickly that's just one of my pages and then once I've done that, that's actually saved and that's ready to go. So if I click on that now, it goes straight over to the page. So again, you can see how quick and easy that was to actually um, save. Now up here, you've got a number of options, but basically this share video option is the one I tend to use uh, most often, but you can edit the thumbnail. So the thumbnail is this area here that they will see. So if I go and edit that, I can add a caption to this. So I can just put review underneath here again and change the color so you can see it. And you'll see that a caption starts appearing under here. But it's just the kind of front screen that people see. You can add some timestamps here if you want to. And you can add a logo here. Now, once I save those changes, we can get the direct link here. You can actually preview the share page. And the share page then will come up. And this is what they're going to see. Now, what I use most often is this share video feature. You can do a number of things. You can share the video um, using the link. So I can just copy this link and... Once I copy the link, it'll be shared straight away. Anybody clicks this link, will go straight to the page. You can actually use this to share the page via email. Now, I really like this because it gives you a quick way to share it via email. So if I just go ahead and paste that into my email here, the video will appear. And once they get this, all they need to do is click on here and it'll hyperlink off to that page. Next up, you can go ahead and download the thumbnail or download the video MP4 if you want to use it on a different format. And you can also embed the video via email or website by using the HTML code that it provides with you. So you can see this is very, very simple to use. Once I've done all of that, this video will appear in my menu and then I can do the same type of options from my menu and it'll go ahead and track my visits, my clicks. Most of these are obviously going to be quite low because they're personalized emails to one person. And um, the idea is just to see whether they've actually gone ahead and played it and whether they've actually gone ahead and clicked it. And it gives you a good idea of whether they're actually um, interacting with your videos. So I'll just jump back over to the sales page itself. Let's go to the pricing. Pricing is very simple. Again, you get a basic version. You get 33 videos, SendSpark branding, and no downloads. The pro version is $15 per user per month. Unlimited videos, custom branding, and add calls to action to videos. If you're going to get more than one user, you might as well have the business, which is $19 per user per month. Um, it's white label. You get an admin dashboard, and you get four team training sessions, and you can have 10 users. I use the $15 a month one mainly because I like the fact I can have custom branding and that call to action button is very very powerful to me so again guys if you want to grab this at any point go ahead and hit the link in the description below and you can try this completely for free and i personally would really recommend it because i find that it really helps to personalize your communication with the various customers or your various leads and it really helps to drive engagement so guys my name is richard darby this is the school of nomads if you haven't been over to our channel before don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell and i'll let you know whenever i release new videos so until next time guys take care